Welcome to Aggressor Adventures. Meet travel specialist, Jennifer Burden. I was born in Augusta, Georgia at Doctors Hospital in 1990. Jennifer describes her parents. They were not super hands-on parents in the way that they were not huge disciplinarians. They were more fun and they were high school sweethearts and I was the first child. She shares what it was like growing up in Augusta, Georgia. I had a lot of fun with my friends, my neighborhood friends and my cousins. We grew up with a pool in our backyard and so that was always, always had something to do, always had friends to have come over. Lots of memories going to the masters and I'm glad that I grew up in the same town as my family so that I have all those good childhood memories. Jennifer has always been close to her sister. My sister is my absolute best friend, and if I didn't have her, I don't know what I would have done. She's about 18, no, not 18 months, um, about two or three years in age difference, and we've been partners in crime since the day she was born. She fondly remembers her childhood pets. I had a few different pets. Um, I had Nikita, which was our first pet. That was an Alaskan Malamute. She was a big girl. She was basically, she acted like she was part wolf. So she was pretty cool. I had Maggie, which was a stray kitty that we found that came out of a gutter that I took home and said, we have a cat now. And then we had Buddy, who was my Welsh Corgi. He was awesome. We had a lot of different animals. Um, that were more so my pets because I would always bring strays and <laughs> animals home, but um, only a couple f family pets. Jennifer reflects on her dreams as a child. I had to actually ask my parents this because I could not remember because I was such a wanderlust, even at a young age. I, could, I asked them what was the thing they remembered the most about me having dreams about, and they said I always wanted to be a mermaid. <laughs> that was my biggest aspiration in life was to be a mermaid. She had a natural affinity in her youth that prepared her for her current career. I mean, I've always liked talking to and working with people. So I don't know if that really gave me an affinity to want to become a travel agent, but I've always been kind of like, my mom's always said, even since I was little, I have a gypsy soul. So I think that that combined with how much I want to travel and my like, for people, being a travel agent just really fits me well. Jennifer recalls how she met her husband. I met Ryan, it was his 10 year anniversary for his high school reunion. And we had a mutual friend who I guess had wanted us to meet for some time and thought that we would hit it off. But interestingly enough, we both were not interested in, in dating anyone when we first met or thought we didn't because that night we, I, he told me he fell in love with me that night, which can't blame him, but yeah, he's the best person in, in, I've ever met in my life. I love that man more than anything. She discusses some of her hobbies. We are very much homebodies. We love to just veg out on the couch, watch Netflix, talk, um, hang out with our puppies, go to the park, na anything nature involved. We both definitely like outside more than inside even though we are homebodies so we take a lot of trips we travel a lot we take a lot of trips we go to a lot of concerts Jennifer shares what she did before coming to aggressor so before working at aggressor I was actually a dental assistant and a nanny and now I am a in-house travel agent for our detours department she explains what she believes led her to her current position I think that my ability to have, I guess, the gift of gab and enjoying travel and enjoying helping people led me to this. I enjoy it a lot so far. Aggressor Adventures, for your adventure of a lifetime.